Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Search Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthnagar, Uttarakhand. Now, topic is Components of Watershed Management. As we have already discussed that what is watershed, what is watershed management, what is the importance of watershed management. Now, what are the components? Means, what type of practices are undertaken in watershed management? So, on the basis of the practices, the component may be two types, core component and the related component. There are a number of activities in watershed management. Definitely, we consider soil conservation and reduce the runoff and try to improve the productivity of that region by natural resource conservation. So it is not only confined to conservation of natural resources, it also aims to increase the production, sustainability, environment, people need, a number of activities are there. So these practices for soil moisture conservation, for production, for increasing the productivity or, or any other activities can be divided into two groups and these groups are called component. So first is core component means these are the major activities. So these core component are also called as hardware component. Sometimes it is asked what is hardware component and these component are permanent or semi-permanent in nature means these activities have long lasting effect and these activities may be land and water resource treatment, land and water resource treatment to conserve the soil and water. So such type of activities are taken under this core component. And these activities may be terracing, example is terracing and maybe uh, jing terrace, maybe broad base terrace. So these are activities are very important activities and uh, uh, vegetative uh, barriers, grassed waterways means these are semi-permanent and permanent to conserve the soil and water and B uh, second part we can say these are construction of water harvesting structures water harvesting structures so these water harvesting structure store the water for a long time so actually these are ex situ water harvesting practices like tank formation of tank formation of pond tank, pond, small dam, check dam, any cut. So means these are the water storage constructions. And third one is the alternate land use system. Alternate land use means suppose land is not fit for crop cultivation then it can be utilized for pasture, for plantation of fodder tree, fodder tree, fuel tree, afforestation. So this is the another use of land if it is not fit for cultivation. So it can be used for any other purpose which provide the uh, fodder, fuel, etc. So these are the core component. Now these components are permanent and semi-permanent and some constructions are required for the terracing construction is required for the grassed waterway we have to develop the grass in the waterways in vegetative barriers we have to develop the vegetation across the slope so some engineering structures are required some mechanical measures are required for formation of broad based arrow some uh, mechanical uh, uh, implements are required so actually these are the uh, foundation practices and the mechanical practices, engineering practices. So we can say these are the foundation practices. Foundation practices and they require the mechanical measures and the biological measures. Mechanical 
एंड बायोलॉजिकल मेजर्स वाइल इन केस ऑफ रिलेटेड कंपोनेंट रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज सो दीज एक्टिविटीज आर नॉट दी परमानेंट और सेमी परमानेंट दीज प्रैक्टिस आर जनरली कन्फाइंड टू वन क्रॉप सीजन और टू क्रॉप सीजन एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ स्टोर्ड सॉइल मॉइस्चर एंड टू इंक्रीज द क्रॉप प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड टू इंक्रीज द इनकम सो दीज रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज आर ऑफ टेम्परेरी इन नेचर इफ वी अडोप्ट दीज प्रैक्टिस then these have no lasting effects effect is for one season or two season while these are permanent and semi permanent while it is temporary so important practice uh, in related component is the improved cultivation practices improved cropping system and cultivation practices the objective is to increase the crop productivity by utilizing the stored soil moisture so improved cropping system by including the uh, better crop variety and develop a cropping system which give more profitability and has no risk against the disease and insects then improved cultivation practices like uh, deep plowing which enhance the soil moisture storage tillage contour farming a proper fertilization proper weed management proper disease control all these practices which aimed to increase the crop production comes under related component so related components are mainly with the utilization of the stored soil moisture and the resources to enhance the productivity and the profit so uh, now other is in situ water harvesting practices in situ water harvesting here it is ex situ it is ex situ water harvesting here it is in situ water harvesting so structures are not made in case of ex situ water harvesting we have to develop a pond tank dams it means engineering structure is required cost is involved so mechanical structure engineering structures are required so engineering is involved while in case of related practices no engineering is required in situ water harvesting bunding mulching very good uh, practice broad bed and furrow interplot water harvesting so these are the practices which increases the water storage in the field at the site where a uh, rain uh, falls so these are the in situ water harvesting practice and these in situ water harvesting practice like mulching bunding are they have not long lasting effect for one year or two year it is mainly for that current season so it is in situ it is ex situ and the next uh, is related practices is the other uh, farming practices we can say uh, which uh, increases the uh, system productivity and the profit uh, for example dairy dairy poultry aquaculture horticulture means uh, we can say it is a farming system or integrated farming uh, system so that uh, the uh, uh, output of different uh, component may be utilized as a input and the farm uh, income is increased sustainability is maintained and waste are utilized so these are the related practices we will look uh, the difference this is hardware component because this require some engineering structures and this related uh, are the software component so only some techniques are uh, required to increase the production and the productivity and these are the permanent and semi permanent while these are the temporary these are the foundation practices mechanical and engineering structures engineering is required while in case only the uh, cultivation uh, practices improved cultivation actually these related to improved cultivation practices and 
water harvesting difference is at C2 and in C2. Here it is alternate land use system means we have to change the land utilization pattern. Suppose if land is utilized for crop production and the crop production is not profitable then this land can be used for pasture deployment, for afforestation, for the uh, fuel tree plantation. But here it is the other farming practices means to include the other component or other enterprise. Dairy is very good example, goat tree, poultry, aquaculture, mushroom, so that the uh, income is increased. So this is, uh, th these are the core component and related component. If we look the overall practices, so now cost is very high because we have to develop the structure. So that's why uh, these are cost intensive. While very less cost is involved in case of related practices. Now, this core practices, core component are cost intensive, means to develop a tank, a pond, a huge money is required. For the treatment of a pond, of a land, uh, money is required. So, this uh, part of money or fund is provided by the government. So, financial assistance is provided by government. By in related practices, suppose we are using the mulch, uh, we are making the buns, we are using the uh, profitable crop, then no extra money is required, no heavy investment is required, there is no investment. So that's why these activities are taken by the farmers or the people themselves. So these are not cost intensive. So these are the uh, different component of watershed management, core component or we can say hardware component, second one is related or uh, software component. So this was about the components of watershed management. Thank you very much.